It's time for Kate's Kate Gives Back. Isaac Ramirez is joining us live this morning from Upshur County. Isaac, who are we recognizing today? Cynthia, we are in uh, Big Sandy, Texas this morning. We are recognizing the International Alert Academy. Let's go ahead and meet the men with Alert Academy. How are you guys doing today? Great. Great. Here with us is Captain uh, Vanderford with the International Alert Academy. Captain, how proud are you of all the men that are standing here next to you? These guys are my brothers, and I really couldn't be happier working with these guys. So explain to us, what is the International Alert Academy? What does ALERT stand for? Alert is an acronym for Air Land Emergency Resource Team. And we train guys, it's a nine month long Christian discipleship and disaster relief program. So we train guys and we do that disaster relief for tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, those kind of things. We go out and help communities that are hit uh, by those disasters. And then we also have the emergency services training side. So the EMT school, fire academy, technical rescue, a scuba program, a flight school. And then we have also on the other side, kind of a missions program and a leadership and communication program. I know here in East Texas, we are so thankful to have you guys. I know. Uh, recently you guys were out assisting a Smith County authorities uh, searching for a missing child. Yep. How often do you guys go out and assist these uh, local first responders? We're available throughout the year and usually we'll go out about three times in a year. So basically the counties surrounding us in Wood County, Smith County, Gregg County, kind of the immediately surrounding counties uh, will call on us sometimes if they have a missing person search they need help with or if they have an evidence recovery search that they're looking for help with. And so what does the training usually require? What do you guys do out here? Right, so it starts out with a boot camp. It's a nine week long boot camp and it's pretty intense, military style. So we're doing running and push ups and hiking and all of those kind of things, teamwork activities. Um, and after that boot camp, then we move into our emergency response phase and then into the vocational phase. So it's kind of that three phase approach, nine months long. And basically everybody does basic together. Everybody does second phase together. And then you diversify in your third phase and choose which you want to specialize in and our service kind of fits in all in, in each of those so in second phase we're doing some emergency response training and then if there's a disaster that hits then we'll go out and and respond to the disaster well you guys have a preview day that's coming up tell me about this preview day what is it right may 21st it's the same day it's as our advancement from basic training so these guys have been going through nine weeks of the hardest thing that they've been through in their lives for most of these guys uh, but they've made a lot of accomplishments and so we're gonna kind of celebrate recognize those accomplishments. We're going to show off a few of their skills that they've learned, do a marching demonstration, and then have a big uh, ceremony after that, uh, and then a dinner to follow. So preview day is a chance for people to come and watch all of those events and to be able to ask some questions and get a little introduction to the Alert Academy. And it's so awesome to know that this is here in a big Sandy and people come from all over the place to join yep. you guys. I mean, you have uh, lots of folks here. Where are they all from? Right. I'm probably not going to remember all of them, but right here we've got a guy from Wisconsin. We got guys from what Massachusetts and New Hampshire. That's right. And then we got Maryland and Ohio, uh, New York, Florida, and uh, who we got back there is from Ohio. All here in East Texas and assisting first responders when they need it as well. Right. If people want to join or they want to uh, get some of this training, find out more information. How do they do that, Captain? Our website is alertacademy.org. So you can just go to that alertacademy.org and there is a uh, tab there for admissions. You can click that admissions tab. There's also a tab that has events on it and preview days listed under those events. So if you just go to alertacademy.org, you can find us right there. Well, thank you very much, Captain. Uh, we brought y'all a free lunch today just to show our, our appreciation to you guys for everything you guys do and going out there and helping search for that child who was found safely. That was a great update we had. So thank you very much. Again, this is KETK Gives Back, where each and every week we recognize our first responders here at East Texas. And today we are recognizing the the International Alert Academy as part of KETK Gives Back. Look at them. Just smile and nod, boys. Give us a wave. There you go. This is all made possible by Peter Chevrolet. A big, big thank you to Peters for allowing us to do this each and every week. Peters is making four donations this year to four first responder departments here in East Texas. They already made one. That was to the Russ County Sheriff's Office, and we cannot wait to find out who the next three first responder departments are going to be. Reporting from Big Sandy, I'm Isaac Ramirez. Back to you. Thank you so much, Isaac. We'll be